team of Create PT World. Welcome to the Create PT World Club. G'day, it's Brad Shepherd here from Create PT Wealth. First thing I'd like to do is to welcome you and congratulate you on taking action. Because if you've arrived at this spot and you're hearing from us, it's because you're a personal trainer who wants to skyrocket their business, who wants to live the lifestyle of their dreams. I'm here to tell you that you can do it and it's very exciting. Now you'll be hearing from us. We'll be sending you pieces of information about how we work and how we operate and some tips and strategies that can really change your business. So stay tuned. Now most of them are fairly short. You'll probably find some of them are about five, ten minutes in length. However, you'll find that there's some critical pieces of information in that, in that short period in time. So my advice is, is to keep listening. Extract as much information as you can. And uh, be, be sure to, to tune in at the end because uh, there's going to be a couple of things that we want to tell you about the way that we work and the way we can certainly help you grow your business. So go ahead, watch it. Look forward to speaking about you. This particular one's all about the difference between owning a job versus owning a business. My name's Brad Shepard. Look forward to meeting you and uh, can't wait for it. Bye bye. All right, so let's kick off. The first part of it, I'm going to move through pretty quickly because some of you will have been exposed to this before and understanding it. I'm going to talk to you a little bit, of, a little bit about owning a job versus owning a business. All right. So the test for you is the, the question I got for you is what would happen if you st stood up and left your business today for one month? Okay, so everyone stand up in the seat that you're in. So if you were to take off for one month's vacation right now, uh, what I would like to do is uh, remain standing. If you came back in a month's time, your business would still be thriving as it is today. <coughs> Round of applause. Um, so really what we're saying is that for all of us, uh, a month can be a pretty crucial time. And really a month is a pretty short period in time. So uh, what I'll say to you is that um, the question of, oh, would your business still be thriving or would it fall apart? So we know that for most of us, one month away from our business could spell danger. So what I want to do is in, in lock in some things for you today, which is going to help you get to the next level. Um, would you find it do it just as well or even, possibly even better? Um, sometimes when I've been away from the business, the team's actually said things like, hey, it was actually uh, better when you were gone because, you know, we did this, this and this and we didn't have to worry about you breathing down our neck and all this sort of stuff. So it's a pretty nice thing to hear from when, you, when you've got a team who's going for it. Jason's other business, he sent me through a text message. How much um, money did they put in the bank last weekend, mate? Uh... About, I can't remember, it's over 200, 200 grand or something. 250, yeah. 250 grand uh, they put in the bank last weekend. Now, um, the funny thing that I found funny about that is that he said my first reaction was um, I was actually possibly a little bit disappointed that I actually wasn't there <coughs> because the, this all happened in Sydney. I wasn't there to be a part of it. Uh, and then he said that then the, the, uh, the, the next feeling that came over me was uh, I was pretty happy that uh, I make passive income and I can stay at home and the business can put that money in the bank. So, pretty cool place to be, eh? <coughs> um, so, the question is, would you find complete chaos and disaster or the business not being there at all? I think we'll all agree. Uh, for some of you, that could be correct. This statement may hurt. So, um, if you're like most PTs, then you'll know that Really, you don't actually have a business at all, you've just got a job. <coughs> What's the acronym for job? J O B? Just over broke. Okay, so if you find yourself in that position, to, to this morning's session can might be a little bit confronting, a little bit hurtful. I don't apologise for that, uh, but what we're going to do is put in some strategy to get you to the next level. Uh, I borrow heavily from uh, Rob Kiyosaki's dad, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Put your hand up if you've read that book. So it's about half the room. If you haven't read it, write it down now and make sure you make that as part of your homework. If you don't read, then what do you need to do? Get the audio book. Yeah. So he talks about the difference between owning a, a business versus owning a job. He talks about a, a philosophy that called the cash flow quadrant. And what it says is that... Um, on the first level, 
Um, and on the left hand side of the box is that most people started as employees. Now there's a bunch of people in this room who have been an employee and have moved into what we call self-employed. <coughs> So the goal is for you to move into the position of being a business owner where you can leave your business or your business generates passive income. Uh, what's the definition of passive income, Sue? You don't have to be there for it to occur. So Matt Cooper's about to make $1,200. Um, he doesn't, he can, turn, he probably will turn up, I would imagine. Oh yeah, I'll be there. You'll yeah. be there? But you probably don't have to. If you weren't there, it would still be able to run, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's possible for him to set that up time and time again for that to occur? Yeah. How many sessions will be con conducted at InSync today, Janine, roughly? Three. Three sessions? Oh, sorry, sorry. I for thought the rest of the crew? Oh, no, no, sorry, I was thinking group fitness session. Oh, yeah. probably about eight. Eight or so, yep. Yeah. Uh, and so we've got a margin there of around about 25, 30 bucks a session, uh, three eight to 24, uh, passive income while you're not there, hey? So, what happens is most of us start off as employees, um, we start off with a job, uh, we get frustrated because we're working for some, um, some idiot who we've got our ideas and aspirations of making a goal of it somewhere else. Um, so what happens is we go off and start a business. Uh, we print up business cards, we open up a studio, we get signage, we do all this sort of stuff. Um, and more often than not, we find that we leave the, the comfort and the stability of working for an idiot and we go and sign up and start working for an even bigger idiot. <coughs> um, now I say that because what happens is we suddenly find ourselves in this position of becoming incredibly busy, we can become overwhelmed, we become stressed, things happen in our personal life as a direct result of working for ourselves. So the ultimate goal is to move yourself out of the left hand side of the quadrant and get over into the right hand side because in the right hand side you are a true business owner when you derive some passive income from your business. Robert Kiyosaki's philosophy on on Robert Kiyosaki's philosophy on becoming financially free is to have your passive income be higher than your expenses. Does that make sense? So if you generate more passive income than you spend, then you're in a position where you no longer have to turn up to work. Now, you might not stop at that, you might want to keep going um, and because it's all going to be driven by the type of lifestyle that you want to have. But the message today is all about getting you over onto the right hand side of this quadrant, becoming a business owner. Hi, how are you doing? It's Brad here again. Look, uh, if you're listening to this, then you've obviously made it to the end of our video. So congratulations for taking it that far because you've just shown that you're the type of person that wants to take things through right to the end. Now, that's one small part, what you just saw was one, one, a few minutes of what we do. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about what we can do and how we can help you skyrocket your business, my suggestion is to jump onto our website and to find out when our next three-day workshop is because that's when you're really going to see a whole bunch of information that's going to dramatically change the face and change the shape of your business. So the website, uh, putting it up here uh, right now for you, www.createptwealth.com dot com dot au and I uh, can't wait to meet you. Thanks very much. Bye bye.